video today. Three month car check on my Vauxhall Corsa VXR. First point to check, does it sound good? Let's check. Yes. So let's start on the interior then. What have I done on the inside of this car? Well, we have a upgraded Pioneer stereo that has aux, Bluetooth and radio. Uh, there's plenty of settings to go through for all of this stuff. There's so much stuff on here. You'll notice there's not a fascia. There is one on the way. I believe it's actually at my house now. Um, I'm currently not there. I'm at my missus's place at the minute, so can't do anything. Also, it doesn't turn off with the car, um, so I just have to turn it off and then turn the display off. I've also got this nice carbon fibre dipped heat control panel, which you would have seen in, uh, I think, last video, maybe the video before. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it looks gorgeous. Obviously, it doesn't blend uh, yet. I need to get a carbon fibre uh, top panel and ideally dip that fascia carbon fibre as well. On the floor down here, we've got some custom floor mats, eBay specials, nothing fa nothing too fancy, uh, just with a nice red outline, they do clip in quite nicely. Um, they are down the back as well with the rest of my stuff. Um, sorry about the mess, by the way, I've got my catch can, a toolbox, my bag, work shoes, more tools and stuff. We've then got this armrest, which I literally installed the other day. We've got loads of space for loads of stuff in here cup holder and even an ashtray in it um which is very handy you most eagle-eyed viewers probably have noticed this already but what is wrong with my glove box you ask ha well it's broken basically these Corsa glove boxes just aren't fantastic um this is not the most ideal i do have a fire extinguisher by the way because you never know i have had a car catch up fire on me before i was down on the isle of sheppey and my mx5 just decided it wanted to become one minute's in a flame, let's say. Uh, but apart from that, I haven't done too much else to this car. I've got my Lufi gauge as well. When I turn the car on, I have a screen with a load of different measurements that comes up here. It's very nice, very handy, um, and, I, and I, I like it quite a lot. Um, I've also got these VXR like gel stickers. Um, I have them on the front and rear plate as well. And that brings us to the exterior of this car. Now, this car is by no means perfect. It does actually need a lot of work still. Um, the main point, which is an eyesore for me at the minute, is this bit of lacquer peel on the bonnet here. It's actually quite difficult to see in the light. Ah, there you go. You can just see where the lacquer is starting to peel away. Uh, some stone chips on the bonnet as well. Um, this bonnet needs a good polish as it is, um, as the paintwork is just all kinds of messed up. But if you see there, that little bit of lacquer peel there, it just needs a full respray because you can't redo lacquer, which is obviously not ideal. The front bumper is the same, loads of lacquer chips, and also these Corsa VXRs, I believe, come with a chrome fog surround. Now, this, as you will notice, is black uh, and it is chipped to fuck, so this has got to be replaced also. Lacquer peel, more lacquer peel. It's just a red car thing. You buy a car that's red. You, you, you're never gonna have it, man. Yeah, you, you, you're just not. I'll move on to my front plate now. You can see I've got carbon fiber plate holders as well with those VXR gel badges in the middle. The actual VXR plate holders were a substantial amount more than I was expecting that money. I've got some little brain guards for these mirrors because they don't fold in at all. They're not the best. Sorry about the wind noise, by the way. It's probably a bitch at the minute. Um, but yeah. Next on the interior, I actually need to put the ignition on. Turn the indicator on. Now they do flash fast at the minute because I've got LEDs in the rear, but LED side indicators. The front is still the stock bulb, uh, and this rear one is also an LED bulb as well. It's very nice. Let's turn those off. Uh, it's the same on the other side as well, so I won't show you that again. Um, in here, you can sort of see we've got LED dip beams and LED high beams. Um, they're very nice. Uh, they make the car look quite good. You can also see right here the fading of the paint due to it needing uh, a really good polish. Also, preferably some new door handles at some point because these are fucked. You can see the scrape marks all the way along. Boost charging sticker because at the minute I need a new wave gag trailer because it's not boosting properly. This is my Instagram, there'll be a link for that down in the description below. Also, I was on my YouTube studio and I've noticed that those of you that are on my 93.7% of you 
are not subscribed. Now I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel uh, and I ever do so appreciate the increasing views that I've been getting on my channel recently, uh, upwards of 300 views on one of my videos now, so very much appreciated. Um, I just like making this content, it's not for uh, it's not for financial gain or anything like that. I just like making these videos. They're f fuel cap. <sighs> haven't changed it yet, but there is a, a, a little chip here. Um, the rear lights, again, I haven't really messed with them. There's an LED running uh, tail light bulb in there and obviously the indicator one that I mentioned. Still stock badges for now, um, but as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, or maybe I didn't, I don't remember, but I've got to find some floss to take the Corsa badge off with and you can see underneath it again that faded paint that's going to need a really nice polish to come out. This badge is going black, I've already got a black VXR badge as well. Once again those carbon fibre plate holders on the rear with that VXR uh, gel thing and also the diffuser is a little bit scratched but we don't worry about that too much because we're going to get a new one eventually, you just haven't got around to it yet. Spoiler now. Again, more stone chips. It's, it's, it's the red, honestly, and like if you look at the roof here, I, again, on camera, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but that paint is definitely faded. It needs a good polish. Again, the Instagram on the side. And these stickers, now a lot of people look at me like, oh, why have you got that sticker on your car? It's something that I've done since my very first car, and it's almost like a ritual for me now. On my Xbox at home, I've got a sticker of every single car that I've owned so far, all five of them. And uh, I put the other one on the passenger side window of every single car. This door handle doesn't look too bad compared to the other one, but uh, it's alright. And the side skirt is sagging noticeably here, so I need to get some new mounts for that, and again, LED indicators. So I haven't done too much to it. Um, it's most, to be honest with you, most of it's just aesthetics in terms of actual power mods. I haven't done too much. Um, but like I mentioned before, the uh, main purpose of this video is to show you all the mods that I've done to the car so far. So if we open our boot up here, you will notice a fairly substantial size subwoofer. It does move around a bit, which is a bit annoying. Um, and also, I finally got my boot organizer in here. So this is sitting in here now. I've got my quick detailer chocolate bar in that one that's going to be melted as fuck some gloves um my paracetamol meds and stuff like that in there um now those of you i don't know if this is on the normal course ID, but i know on the vxrs behind this little side panel here this is where all your tire stuff is so tire pump uh tire fit gel this to pump it up and actually one of the lifesavers the other day for this screwdriver just chilling in here very much appreciate it, Vauxhall. Thank you for that. Also, one other thing on the Vauxhall that most of you uh, might have missed or you might not even have on your car, in the fuel filler cap, right here, there's this little thing. Now you might be wondering, George, what's this? Well, if your valve caps are being stubborn cunts, you put these on, twist, and they come straight the hell off. Very, very helpful. Saved me twice so far. Um, and it prevents you from snapping them as well, um, so it's not too bad. Next up, more interior stuff here. I haven't done anything to the side uh, little step panels yet, but I love these, so I'm not going to mess with them. Obviously, got the Recaro buckets. They need uh, a little bit of a clean, I think. Um, and also, a common problem with these buckets is for the... Uh, like uh, like the bit that eclipses it, yeah, you can see here, I managed to push that in. That should stay in at all times. So I think I need either some new seat clips or to just pull these seats out, put them in properly and sort that out. Also, when I first had the car, I broke um, the release mechanism under here. So it, I, I fixed it now, I pulled it back into place. However, when you pull the seat forward, normally the seat should go forward once it's all the way. It doesn't do that anymore, which obviously is not perfect, but here's what it is. The rear seats in this car are actually really comfortable, um, surprisingly. I did not expect them to be as comfortable as they are. So yeah, that is my Vauxhall Corsa VX. Ah, no, it's not. There are some more things that I haven't managed to grab yet. Because they'll be at my house and I'm not currently there. Okay, now A, I need to call them. B, this is the subwoofer wiring, cable tied on, 
runs through the firewall nice and cleanly, clean, cleanly underneath this trim here. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can sort of see it in there. Uh, straight to the battery, got the fuse, all done properly, and I love it. Substantial lack of heat shield currently. Um, the turbo heat shield that I've ordered for it is on its way. The old one I had a proper fight with to get off. This looks ugly at the minute, in my opinion. Um, I just wanted the heat shield off and that the way because I didn't want to battle with it when I had to do it. I also need a new dipstick because taking the heat shield off, I did a bit of a snap. And then we come to the piece de resistance, my huge Dorenza intake. Um, it makes all the psh noises possible uh, and it just sounds great. What next with this? Oh, and new washer fluid cap. Love that. Anyway, in terms of what's next for this car, well, I haven't fully decided. I want to go more power. I do. The injectors on these cars, those of you that know them, run at 95% injector duty cycle, which is not ideal. Um, you, you don't want them to, you know, nearly be maxed out when um, when you're trying to run to stage one or stage two. Now, this car uh, can run stage one safely. I think these can run stage two without you forging them. Stage three, I think you can, but you have to sacrifice some of the power gains you would get with a forged engine. Um, Now, because of this, uh, I haven't forged the car yet. I haven't gone for bigger power yet, but my plan is to put bigger injectors in it, sports cat, and go straight to stage two. But again, I'm undecided. Now, I've got a couple more things I want to show you. I want to show you how that blue fire actually works. <clears throat> so if we hop in the car here, turn her on. Let's hear that gorgeous noise. Yeah. Anyway, if we come over here to our Lufi screen, you can see here, Top left, I have outside temperature. Top middle, ignition timing, so when I rev, that does change. Car's hot, by the way, water temp's right here, so don't worry about it. Fuel level, that is uh, helpful because the fuel gauge here, it can sometimes go on the fritz, so that's good to have. Drive distance, every time you turn the car on, that resets. Voltage, obviously, standard one to have. Air fuel ratio, very good one to have when you're ripping it. Now this car, actually, at the minute, is running slightly lean um, whenever I'm on it at the other top of the gear where because it's such a small turbo it bleeds the boost off you'd assume it would run rich but it um it doesn't it's actually fueling too much uh, sorry it's actually not fueling enough um i don't think this car's been mapped i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't seen anything uh that would make me think it's been mapped but you know just one of those things uh barometer pressure so i believe that is just the outside atmospheric pressure of um well wherever you are really um so yeah the outside air is at 14.8 psi standard atmospheric pressure water temp that's going to climb up to 106 and then the fan will kick on got my speed there uh, which is actually real speed um because as those again those of you that know cars will know um the your car's speedometer does not oh my god that is a lot of birds jesus your car speedometer will not actually tell you the correct speed. It reads a couple of mile an hour slow, um, safety reasons. I-18 intake air temp, uh, got the mileage of the car, which is not right, but yeah, we're over 77K now. And the time, because that's right, that runs off of GPS. Uh, my actual like clock on the car and this are not. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this thing. Um, again, there are more things I wanna do to it, but we'll get there eventually but for now thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe and turn on that turn on that notification bell i, I upload every single sunday but i might start to creep in a, uh, in a weekly upload here and there uh, in the middle of the week so turn on that bell so you know when i upload between 12 and 2 p.m every sunday and maybe every now and then in between but for now thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>